Hello friends, welcome to etltestingtutorial.com. Today we are going to start with the topic, what is ETL testing? Right, so we have already covered what is ETL and what all ETL tools that are available. Here it is. So in the last sessions I was explaining about we have the sources, like we have the uh, location, we have the place where the data of the uh, jungle launch is being stored for different different cities and then in the end we want to generate the target data warehouse. And this complete scenario can be implemented with the help of ETL process. Right? So now the thing is where comes the ETL testing? Where is the ETL testing part in this complete flow? See, whenever I am saying we are going to extract the data from the source we are going to load it to the tar uh, target data warehouse in between always the staging areas are present staging area means when i am fetching when i am looking when i'm when i'm extracting the data from the source system and when i'm loading it to the target database i don't want anyone to make the changes inside that that is the data that is already stored, I just want to use that. I don't want to fetch for the updated data, right? Or maybe the vice versa. I want always to fetch for the updated data, but not I want the previous data, right? So this thing can be tested only if ETL tester is present. ETL developer will develop the workflows. ETL developer will uh, work on the data flow, but ETL tester will test how the data is flowing is that is flowing in the correct flow or some data is missing or we are getting some extra information right so before putting the data before uh, loading the data to the target data warehouse etl tester will start before fetching the data or let me uh, uh, say here after fetching the data before putting it to the staging area we want etl process to be performed right so etl tester is the one who is going to look at that and even after putting the data to the target data warehouse user want or the uh, etl tester don't want to transfer the data or to create the reports to create the bi reports that is not the useful data so again etl tester will test if the data that one is sending is correct or not if that is um, is sending is putting or it's loading the correct uh, the count check the everything the flow that is going on for the data type or for the number of records or for the quality is correct or not that all things can be tested only if ETL tester is working in that right so this is the um, location this is the place at after performing any step we want the tester right so in the next session we'll work on different different kinds of testing that can be performed as part of our uh, etl tester that we can work with uh, okay so this thing we'll cover in the next session